We're back, guys. Welcome to Good Energy, where we report on tennis. Good Energy reporting on tennis. Air Coco Golf is through to the next round in the blowout fashion. 6-1-6 love. That's right. A bagel, a chocolate frosted donut delivered by Air Coco Golf to Angelina Kalalina. And in the post-match interview, Coco Golf, uh, when asked what was it, she said it was the shoes. But nonetheless, uh, and her dad had a special message for her. You can change the racket. I'm sorry, what was the message? <laughs> you can change the world with your racket. Uh, pretty good message. Air cocoa golf, hot cocoa, or heat-seeking missile, whatever you want to call it. Look, cocoa golf, 128 miles per hour. We like to think of Naomi Osaka, Elena Rivikina, Serena Williams as the fastest servers on tour. But the reality here is newsflash, ladies and gentlemen. Coco Golf's got the strongest serve on tour these days. I would love to see a rematch with Simona Halep <laughs> these days. Coco would probably blow her off the court. But nonetheless, she has a date with Naomi Osaka when the uh, announcer mentioned it in the post-match interview. You can kind of see her happiness drop a little bit. But guys, I'm taking Coco to defeat Naomi Osaka. Coco looks too strong and too good. We got some great tennis, man. It's going to be an amazing quarterfinals. Yes, midnight on the East Coast, but the great thing about tennis in North America is we have tennis in Washington, D.C., and in California. That's right. We head now to Beatrice Haddad Mia taking on Claire Lou. Listen, guys, a lot of people don't know, but Claire Lou was a former junior world's ranked number one. And going back the last 30 years, she has the record for youngest to win an ITF championship. Uh, what? age of 14 something like that but former junior world's number one taking on Beatrice at dad one of the busiest players in females tennis 76 wins on the ITF circuit last year five titles she's got a couple titles this year on grass but how does she how will she play on hard look if Claire Lou I don't think Claire Lou is healthy to to keep this you know straightforward with you I don't think Claire Lou is healthy uh, but the winner of this match will have a date with Kuna Matova Anja Burr taking on Madison Keys. I like Madison Keys and an upset there against Anja Burr. But I don't think Claire Lou is healthy. Uh, this is tennis after dark. Beatrice had dad. There's no complaining about darkness and slippery grass surfaces or not being able to see. We have lights. We are in San Jose, California. And Claire Lou is a hometown woman, although the Brazilian fans have made their journey over to the Sunshine State. Claire Lou wrapped up, and that does not look good at all. If Claire Lou is healthy, this is a match I would pick Claire Lou to win. You saw her in Miami on hard defeat Annette Contave in an embarrassing fashion. I would pick her to beat Beatrice at dad if she was healthy, but I don't think she's healthy. So Beatrice at dad may shine here with her left forehand. Uh, but what about the calls? I mean, the, these lines, men and women, they're giving all the calls to the American players. Beatrice challenged this call. She won it back to back on the very next play. Challenged this call and won it. There's some unbelievable calls here. But, hey, that's that hometown cooking. But Beatrice said, Dad, we are in a deuce here. Break point in the, the first game here. Claire Lou trying to hold serve. But can Beatrice break Claire Lou? Let's go back to San Jose. We have some live tennis after dark. Good energy reporting.